To create a line and stacked column chart, we come over to the Visuals pane and we can find the icon for the line and stacked column chart on the second row in the middle. Click it once, the template appears in the middle of the screen. So we click and drag, resize using the nodes on the corners and on the sides and reposition. When I get this in the middle, then the crosshairs let me know that I'm in the middle. So now I'm gonna add some data. Typically this type of chart is seen with data over time. So in this occasion, we're gonna come over to our sale data. Power BI has given us a date hierarchy and the time frame I want is month. So I'm just gonna check the month and nothing much happens in the visual apart from the month appearing in the top left-hand corner. I need to add some additional data. So in the column Y axis, which we can see here, we're gonna go and grab the property type. So property type from the data column, click and drag that into the property type. And then we see a column chart, which has only given us the count of the numbers of the property within that particular month. It doesn't break it down into a stacked column, not at this stage. So what we're now going to do is go and grab the property type again and click and drag that into the column legend. And now this time, I actually get the stacked column, which is what we're used to seeing in Microsoft Excel. To add on that extra layer, that extra dimension, I want to know the volume of the sales. So I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna grab the sale amount, and this time I'm gonna drag it into the line axis, the line Y axis, let that go, and Power BI automatically then places that second level of data onto my screen. So now I actually have my line and stacked column chart. And if I take the month of May and I hover over each of those little stacks, I can see that I sold three commercial and 11 residential and one piece of vacant land to the tune of just over 7 million. And that's how you create your line and stacked column chart.